SmartArt gives you the ability to make each slide more visual and dynamic by creating a visual display of what would normally be bulleted text. If you have already created your bulleted text on a slide, you can easily turn it into a SmartArt graphic. First, we'll start by selecting the bulleted text. Click on the Home tab, then click on the Smart Art button. This is located in the Paragraph group on the ribbon. You will see a preview of some of the Smart Art types, however, we're going to choose More Smart Art Graphics from this menu. This will display all of the different Smart Art graphics. By clicking on the categories on the left hand side, we can see the different SmartArt graphic types for that category. We're going to select the list category, then we'll select the vertical box list type. You'll also notice that once you select the type, you'll see a preview of that SmartArt on the right hand side. If this is a SmartArt that you desire, click on the OK button. Once your SmartArt has been created, you can quickly format anything you'd like about the SmartArt. We're going to first start by selecting the entire SmartArt rather than just one box within the SmartArt graphic. So we want to click on the frame or the border around the SmartArt to select all of it. Notice that when the SmartArt graphic is selected, we have two SmartArt tools contextual tabs, one for design and one for format. These both give us different formatting options for our SmartArt. Let's change the color of our SmartArt, and we'll do that by selecting the Design tab. Then we'll click on the Change Colors button in the SmartArt Styles group, and we'll select the color of our choice. We can also format the style of our SmartArt by giving it a more 3D type of effect. We'll do that by clicking on the More button in the SmartArt Styles group to display all of the SmartArt Styles gallery. Then we'll select one of the 3D types. Lastly, we'll click outside of our SmartArt to deselect it so that we can see how it will look when we view our presentation. So in this past example that we just did on creating SmartArt, we created SmartArt from bulleted text that we'd already typed. However, you can also create SmartArt before you have your text, and then you can add your text directly to the SmartArt, so we'll do that now. As long as you have a content layout for your slide, you'll notice that you have an icon, and the icon is to insert a SmartArt graphic, so we'll start by clicking on that. We'll select another list SmartArt type. This time we'll select the one called the Bending Picture Accent List. Once your SmartArt is inserted, you could type your text directly into the text boxes. However, you'll notice on the left-hand side some double arrows. These will open up a bulleted list box that make it easy for you to add your text directly to the SmartArt. Now we can simply type our text next to the bullet, and it will add it to the SmartArt. If you don't want all of the bullets or you want to add bullets, you can add them or delete them from this box. Notice that then this directly adds or deletes the various smart art graphics. When you are done adding text or the number of your smart art graphic components, you can close a bulleted text box by clicking on its X. Some smart art designs let you insert a picture or graphic directly into the smart art, such as this case. We'll start by clicking on the icon in the smart art graphic that allows us to insert a picture. We'll select our desired picture from the Insert Picture dialog box and then click the Insert button. This will add the picture directly to our SmartArt. 